No, I believe that uh, we find that anything which is popular, mm. they do have enemies. Yeah. And Allah says in the Quran that every prophet had enemy. And Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam being the last prophet will always have enemy. So I feel that people like Donald Trump, they prove the Quran right. Allah says in Surah Furqan chapter number 25, that there will be an enemy for Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And since Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, going to, his message is going to be till eternity, they are bound to be critics and enemies of, of Islam and, and of Prophet Muhammad. So these people are proving the Quran right. Because in spite of all these things, Islam is spreading. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Imran chapter 3 verse 54, Allah says, Makuru makarallah wallahu khairul makri. They plan and plotted Allah to plan. Allah is the best of planners. If you see after 9-11, the media war on Islam and throughout the world, normally people should think that now Islam should perish now, which they cannot. But we find that more people want to know what kind of religion is this. And we find that in USA alone, in a span of, of about nine months after 9-11, 34,000 Americans accepted Islam. In Europe alone, in a span of 10 months after 9-11, more than 20,000 Europeans accepted Islam. So more they are trying to attack Islam, more Islam is spreading. I believe that such type of people, in the long run, it is benefit for Islam. People want to know what is this religion. And whenever people attack Islam, and we find that in the long run, it benefits Islam. Today, Islam is conquering the hearts, not with the sword of steel, but with the sword of intellect, with the sword of peace. There was a survey done, which was given in the Reader Digest Almanic book in the 1984, as well as Prince with magazine. And this survey gave the increase in the major world religions in a span of 50 years. From 1934 to 1984, in a span of 50 years, the increase in the major world religion. And number one religion that increased maximum was Islam, 235%. Christianity, only 47%. Today, the fastest growing religion in the world is Islam. The fastest growing religion in America is Islam. The fastest growing religion in Europe is Islam. However much they try to suppress Islam, that much it grows. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Imran chapter 3 verse 54, Makarum wallahu khairul makreen. They planned and plotted. Allah to plan. Allah is the best of planners. You know, after 9-11, the media is saying, Islam is the religion of terrorism, Muslims are terrorists. After 9-11, in a span of nine months, in America alone, 34,000 Americans accepted Islam. According to Johan Redley, in Europe alone, in a span of 10 months, more than 20,000 Europeans accepted Islam. Today the media says, Islam subjugates the women. Islam does not give women their due rights. Do you know, out of the people accepting Islam, two-thirds of the people are women. I am asking who is forcing the American women to accept Islam? Who is forcing the European women to accept Islam? Allah promises in the Quran in no less than three different places. Allah promises in Surah Fatah, chapter number 48, verse number 28, in Surah Tawbah, chapter number 9, verse number 33, and Surah Saf, chapter number 61, verse number 9. Arsala Rasul That Allah has sent his messenger with the religion of truth so that it will prevail over all the other religions, over all the other isms, whether it be Christianism, Judaism, Hinduism, Buddhism, Socialism, Atheism, Modernism. Islam is this time to supersede all. Kulli, master them all. How much the Mushrikun like it? And 
the ending of the other verse is different. Allah says, What is the Rasul of Luda? What is the Rasul of Luda? What is the Rasul of Luda? What is the Allah sent his messenger with guidance and the religion of truth so that it will prevail over all the other isms, over all the other religions. Islam is this time to supersede all. Kulli. Master them all. And enough is Allah as a witness. I would like to end my talk with the quotation of Dr. Adam Pearson. Dr. Adam Pearson said that people worry that one day nuclear weaponry will fall in the hands of the Arabs, they fail to realize that the Islamic bomb, the bomb of peace, has already been dropped. It fell the day Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was born. <laughs>